Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you guys decided to spend a part of your day with me just a couple of minutes. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share, share, share if you want to. That would be really great and it would help me out a lot. Okay? So for today's video, I'm just going to talk to you guys about caring for my plant and how I use it for um, plant therapy slash kind of my hobby, even though my husband says it's not a hobby. Right, babe? But it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start by explaining to you guys what I have here. Here I have a couple of plants uh, that I'm doing water culture with. Um, well, this one because it was just not growing in the soil that I got it in. So I figured maybe if I um, take it out of the root, out of the, sorry, take it out of the soil and add it to water, it would probably help the plant a little bit better. And of course I did my research. So hopefully um, this water culture will help this plant um, because when I did get it, it was very full. Um, but over the couple of days after I got it, it just slowly the leaves started to get yellow and wither away and stuff like that. So I just cut them off and then it's been in water for about a week and it's honestly doing a lot better than it was in soil. So I might keep this in here for a few months. Um, right now I can see a couple of new leaves that are sprouting. So I think that's a pretty good sign that the plant is doing well. Um, this is a dumb cane plant. I'm not sure if I'm saying it properly, but that's what it is. These three that I have are from my golden pothos uh, plant. I just thought maybe I could propagate them. So I did some research, clipped where I was supposed to, and so some of them are already growing some roots. So that's really good. You guys can see this one has a root. So... I'll be able to plant that in some soil in probably about two weeks. I can right now, but I'm just choosing to leave it in water just for a little bit longer. And then this one I just have here. It's also sprouting some roots. So that's really great. So I'm just going to change the water for these. I like to use plant food and I get this free from my plant nursery here. Um, the bottle was like $2 and then each refill that I get is free so I can um, fill this as much time as I want to which is really good. Um, but basically this is just plant food and it says that it's pre-mixed ready to use so there's nothing I need to do um, with this. I could just use it in the soil um, or use it in the water that I'm using to spray on the plants. Um, so with the other plants that I'll show you guys, I like to put it just once a month. So at the start of the month, they'll get a little bit of plant food. I feel like that is pretty much all they need at the moment. Um, but for these ones, I usually, every time I change the water, I just dump a little bit of plant food in there. Um, and I feel like it helps my plants. Just a little bit. I don't need a whole lot. And then I add a next part of water to it. And this is just water from my tap. So it's better when you use tap water because there's oxygen molecule, molecule, molecules in it. So the more often you change your water, the better it is for your plant. Because if you just have them there in water for like weeks and weeks without changing it, um, number one, you're ignoring the plant. Uh, even though some plants do like when you don't give them give them as much attention, but it's just it's not good. Uh, it's just gonna fester bacteria, build bacteria, and that's not really good for your plants um, and stuff like that. And it also prohibits them from getting as much oxygen um, that they can. So I like to personally use tap water with a bit of plant food um, to get my plants set for the rest of the week.
So this plant that I have here is the prayer plant. Um, it's a pretty nice plant. I think it's probably one of my favorite plants, to be honest with you. Um, if you actually sit down throughout the day, you can see the different uh, movements that the leaves are making. And it's not like weird to really see the leaf randomly move um, because it's constantly in motion. There are a couple of videos on YouTube um, a time lap video, time lapse video that you can see um, with these this plant moving and it's really cool. This all it needs is partial shade apparently. Sometimes I give it direct sunlight uh, like every couple of days when the sun is out, um, but it doesn't need that much light. I could just be sitting um, on the shelf and it'll be like content. So that's pretty good. I water this once a week, so I have to make sure that. It's fully saturated and the water is draining from the bottom along with a couple of the other plants that I have because if it's not draining from the bottom, it means that I haven't saturated the, the plant soil enough, uh, which is not good for my plant as well. Okay, the other plant that I have here um, is a heart leaf philodendron. Again, this needs light shade and it's the same watering process. Um, this one, I love it because it, it has like many leaves, so it sprouts like a lot of leaves um, like every single week, so that's super exciting. I love just waking up in the morning and then checking to see if any of the leaves have opened up and yeah. And this one, it doesn't need a lot of water, it kind of likes to be ignored a little bit, but uh, for the most part it's doing pretty good and yeah. This one that I have here, again, doesn't need a lot of water um, and it doesn't need as much sunlight. Uh, this one is a dragon tree or a dracaena. Um, it doesn't need that much water, so that's pretty good. And I just like wipe off the leaves every time I water it because it does get a bit white with dust every now and then. Um, but this is a super easy plant to take care of. I feel like anybody would be able to take care of this one. And the other plant that I have here is my snake plant. Um, I did get this for the purpose of cleaning out the air. Some of the other plants uh, do that as well, but this is probably the best one that I have in my house uh, that cleans out the air um, a lot better. And this one's supposed to grow pretty tall, so it's grown a few inches since I've gotten it, and it's even sprouted a little um, baby one, so that's really excited to look forward to see it grow into a bigger one. Um, it does like confined space, so I'm not too worried about changing the pot just yet. Uh, I think in like maybe two or so months or three, I'll be able to change the pot. But for the most part, it likes to feel clumped and together. And it doesn't need as much water as the other plants, but I do water it once a week, again, saturated until it's draining um, at the at the bottom. And I do wipe off the leaves uh, if I feel like it needs to. Um, because it does similarly do the same thing that the corn uh, plant or the dragon plant that I have does. Okay, and this is the last plant that I have. It's pretty big. You can see it's taking up uh, basically more than half of the screen. Um, but this is the mother pothos. So this is the one that I propagated the three smaller ones from. Um, there are a couple of branches here that are growing. Uh, I don't really like when my pothos um, hangs, so I might just cut this in a few more weeks and then propagate those to start like another uh, plant. But I prefer to have the pothos like well trimmed and groomed. Yep. And it's have a couple of leaves, so I know it's doing well. And I do wipe off these leaves again just like I do with the last two plants. Um, because it does harbor dust uh, a lot. This one I water once a week. Um, it needs a little bit more water because it's obviously a bigger plant than the other ones. Um, so I like to make sure that I saturate the, the soil like a lot. And then I like to go in with a water spray and then just spray the leaves um, to make sure that the leaves are a little bit refreshed. Um, and so far it's doing pretty good. So, yep. 
Um, so that's about it for my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!